The COVID-19 pandemic has killed 2 million people in one year. Air pollution has been killing as many as 9 million each year. The pandemic has made us realize the importance of shared resources. The very air we breathe can sometimes kill us. Even before the new coronavirus ravaged the planet, tiny particles produced from the burning of fossil fuels and wood were killing millions of people each year. The problem of air pollution, however, has not received the kind of attention it deserves. The more scientists have studied the problem, the more alarmed they have become. Particulate matter in air pollution is so tiny that it finds its way into every part of the human body, including the brain. It then goes on to cause heart problems, strokes, asthma, lung cancer, and even pneumonia. That's also why those with higher exposure to air pollution have a higher likelihood of dying from COVID-19. There is essentially no safe level of air pollution. The solutions to tackle the problem are numerous. Improving public transport, electrifying road vehicles, regulating or pricing emissions from power plants and factories, providing clean cooking fuel. All these steps will also help reduce greenhouse gas emissions and thus slow down global warming. What's more is that air pollution is also shown to affect economic productivity. Those with worse health cannot perform to the best of their abilities. So acting on air pollution is the answer for a world in the middle of a pandemic, struggling to tackle climate change and dealing with an economic recession. Rarely are there solutions that provide such wins for multiple problems simultaneously. This is Net Zero. I'm Akshat Rati. Follow us on QuickTake and Bloomberg.